Hey, welcome to this uh, tips and tricks video. This is uh, tips and tricks number 26, I believe. And today we're going to explain a little something that is very, very useful and that people don't do most of the time. It's use the single sideband functionality of your radio to detect weak signals. Um, in many of my videos, I had comments, people saying, why do you tune in single sideband or upper sideband, lower sideband, when you are going through a frequency range? And it's very simple. Your receiver is more sensitive in single sideband than it is in AM mode. And the fact that you have that BFO working actually will help you detect very faint carriers or very faint signals in the noise that you will actually miss out if you're just tuning in the AM mode all the time. So what I do is if I tune a frequency range, say I'm going to tune the 20 meter band. So here we are. I'm going to go to 14,000 kilohertz. Now I'll put myself in sideband here. So mode, upper sideband. Because when I tune, I might hear very faint signals, if you can get one, that I'll miss when tuning in the regular mode. So here, a very faint Morse code signal. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but very faint signal. If I would be in another mode, say AM, and tune the range, I would not hear that there's something there. It's something that I would have missed. I would have thought there's no signals on that frequency right now. Yet, once again, when I put myself in sideband mode, well, I'm able to listen to it. Uh, another example um, is in the Let's say I tune the 19 meter broadcast band for those that listen to international broadcasts. Once again, I'll do the same thing. Tune around in sideband mode because on some frequencies where you know there may be weak signals. So look at it here. There's something around 15140 when I zero in because we hear the carrier in single sideband. But look how faint that signal is. I put myself in AM. Notice how I might be tuning and not even noticing that we're something on 15140. So that's how I would know, for example, if I see a frequency list and it tells me there's a broadcast from this station on that frequency. Well, maybe I don't hear it with AM, but I want to know can I at least detect a faint signal coming out of that station. Well, that's where I'm simply going to use sideband mode and tune slightly off. And there's definitely a signal of 15140. It might be too weak for me to copy officially, but sometimes it helps knowing that, oh, I'm detecting that station. It's there. It's just too weak for me to copy it. But at least you know that there's a carrier, there's a very faint signal coming out of that station. Uh, a lot of people have been reporting uh, last week LR836 from uh, from uh, Antarctica. Well, it's on 15476. If I wanted to try, if I hear it, well, of course, I'll try in sideband and try to see if I hear something. Definitely nothing right now for me here. But if there could be, even if like you know, like the 15140 frequency, maybe there could be a small carrier that I detect that I can distinctly say, oh, it's on 15476, definitely. And at least I don't know. It's probably the station. I can't ID it, of course, but I can at least detect a very faint carrier coming off of it. 
So when you tune around the bands, tune slowly and tune in single sideband. And you'll see that some frequencies that you were going through that might have nothing on AM, well, suddenly there's a faint something. And you might be curious to see, okay, what is it? And uh, maybe listen a little longer. Maybe you're just in a deep fade and the station will pop up a little later. So these are tricks to get very faint signals. Same thing for Morse code and utility signals. If I want to know if there's something uh, that I can listen to, say, in the, uh, let's put ourselves in the bottom of the 13 megahertz range where there's a lot of signals of different um, utilities. Well, I put myself always in single sideband, always tune very slowly because you might be missing out on an important signal if you don't tune in single sideband. So that's today's little tips and tricks. Why not try to uh, find some signals tuning in single sideband mode everywhere, even in the international broadcast band? Because um, you might detect some very weak signals, very faint signals that you won't hear normally. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.